All right, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to day 46 of Autodesk Fusion. Today, we're going to be working on our automata box, looking at the whole thing. We're going to call the actual box of this the, the sub-assembly with our sidewalls, our back and top. From there, we are going to make an animation to where it creates an exploded view of our box. After we've done that, we're going to then create our uh, multi-view drawing with our bill of materials. And then we're also going to create a drawing file of our exploded view. All right, ladies and gentlemen, so let's go ahead and get started. I'm going to take my box. I got my box right here. And we're going to go back to design, make sure everything is nice, good, ready to roll. All right. Click under, under here, click design, and then we're going to click animation. So we're going to make an animation of this design. So what I'm going to do is to do that nice explosion, that slow movement. We're going to click on new storyboard, clean, click OK. And what I should be able to do now is when I move parts, it's going to create a small movie for me. So let's click on transform components. I'm going to click on this top piece. I'm going to drag it on over. Click on this bottom piece and drag it on over. Now there's going to be a, it's really close to overlapping, so I'm going to pull this one just for just a hair. And then pull this one right on back. And then pull it down a little bit. And then click OK. So now when I hit play down here, it takes my part and it does a nice exploded view of it. So when we go with later with actual making a disassembly videos and producing these parts, we now have started into that realm. But as far as we're concerned here, we are done. We actually didn't change our original designs. So if you click back here and click design, it'll show our sub assembly of the box still finished. So I'm gonna go to now, I'm gonna click on file. We're gonna do new drawing from design. And we're going to, this is in millimeters. If you are in my class, you should have this template already made. Now what this will do for you is it'll automatically throw in your drawing, uh, in your drawing file, it'll automatically throw in your title block. So we're going to click that and click OK. Alrighty, so from here I'm going to throw in my base, hit right click, hit OK, and then I am also going to uh, make this where hidden lines are seen. So we're going to do our projected views, so we got, uh, remember we're going to do the bottom and the left, and then we're going to move them. So I'm going to move this on over, click OK, and move that on up. So we got our drawing files. Now I need to throw in my isometric. So I'm going to click on base view, approximately where I want my isometric to go, front northeast isometric, shaded, and then click OK. You can want to, if you want, uh, you know, change the sizes of these. So if I double click on this, make it a little bit bigger. We can go ahead and make this a one-to-one -one, and then click close and then move it around as accordingly. All right, now what I am gonna do is go ahead and move this over just a hair because we're gonna put in our bill of materials. And how do you do this easily? So let's move this right on over here. Now, if you made your part well and correct, it's going to be able to auto-populate this bill of materials for you easily. So under tables, we're gonna click under table. In referencing, we are going to reference, select drawing view, you can do an empty table and type in yourself, or we're gonna do the latest version of our file. When I click on that, it will pop in these. However, the problem we run into is that it selects my isometric as to show where my balloons are, and I really don't like that. So what I'm gonna do, however, is I'm gonna move this over just a hair. Actually, let's go ahead and make that back to where it was originally. One half scale, and then click close. That way it's just not in the way, folks. All right, now I think I can move this back now. Let's go ahead and move this back just a little bit. All right, so let's click on tables again, but instead I'm going to select the drawing view and I'm gonna click select this front view. And here's what that does for us. It automatically throws in the balloons as needed 
and just show where those parts are. And if you can't readily see it, it'll automatically throw in the balloon uh, where needed. Okay, so if you need to manually adjust your balloons, you can go ahead and do that. If you don't know how to do that, um, pay attention to later videos or kind of ask me off to the side, but I don't want to make this video too long. So there we go. We have our drawing view. We have our bill of materials. We have our isometric. Now we need to throw in the exploded view. And how do we do that? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to minimize these and we see this is called sheet. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to double click this sheet and I'm going to call it multi view. So we have a sheet now called multi view. What I'm going to click is I'm going to click on an add. And what this is going to do is going to add a new sheet to our current drawing file. And so what I'm going to do here is I'm going to click on base view. Now, for the reference of the base view, we're going to use the, our exploded view. Now, if I've done this correctly, let's see if I could do this. Storyboard three, there we go. All right, so we're gonna create new representation storyboard three. So we can click on the model, if our original model, or we can click on where we've also already done an animation from. So storyboard three is currently where my exploded view is at. Let's do a little bit bigger of a scale. See if I can get away with the, you know, two to three. And then click OK. You can kind of move it around and double click on it. And let's go ahead and make it a shaded. All right, ladies and gentlemen, there we go. We have made a, we took a sub assembly. We turned it into an animation for an exploded view. We also implemented a bill of materials and created a new sheet on our current drawing file and made an exploded view and threw it in there. Alrighty guys, if you have any questions, let me know, but that'll be it for this video and I will see you on the next one.